hello and uh, welcome back uh, today I have two multimeters and there are a few years uh, in between and it is the Fluke 8000 and the Fluke 8010 and one is from the mid 70s and one is from the mid 80s and uh, we are gonna look what are the differences aside from that this display is a lot cooler than this one <laughs> and what were the improvements on the inside so we're gonna open them up and we're gonna see and we're gonna see if the failures are still good and we compare them to a new one I bought this one in 2020 so we should have a proper uh, comparison so uh, let's start a look at this 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 type of display is uh, I think is really cool um, yeah my, my dad uh, also had one and uh, yeah that was in the 80s so I knew it was uh, a lot older yeah the arm doesn't work that well um, so it was nice to, to find the same <laughs> and uh, yeah I, I was able to to clean it up so it has a proper look sadly the the, the the former owner tried to open it by by putting a screwdriver in between here and in between here so it is a little bit damaged I'm, I'm thrilled I uh, need to find a solution to fix that maybe I can very very carefully heat it a bit and push it back or I, I don't know yet and well uh, uh, and and it tried also to open here by by peeling away the metal so that was a pity so if you have one don't do it uh, like that it's very simple unscrew this single screw in the back and it, it just slides out that's it you don't need to damage anything fluke thought about these things this one the newer type 85 I think uh, in that time it was of course super nice to have a display like this um, yeah right now looking back <laughs> you think differently about that probably but um, it, it, this meter is well uh, conserved it uh, his former owner has not tried to open it with a screwdriver at least he, he didn't make uh, too many marks uh, same thing single screw in the back and uh, that's it the the ranges uh, of the the amps and the voltages are, are more or less the same between them so it's really an improved version of the of the one before and i actually worked with a similar one in my electronic class in school so uh, that was also nice uh, <laughs> to find it so, uh, so these two are are, are keepers <laughs> Uh, let's open and uh, compare the both of them Well, we can start with the uh, with the oldest one as I said, it's just a single screw in the back no need to Put your screwdriver in between something just unscrew You already see it's moving and uh, That's it. Thank you. Mrs. Or Mrs. Fluke for doing that look at that it just slides out it is so smooth and uh, yeah li like you see in in more uh, old meters the switches are always complicated look at this they never switch one thing the yeah in <laughs> so if, if something doesn't work correct it is always just start with cleaning all these switches because if one contact doesn't work out of all these ones then well you you get it um how oh, and i put all uh yeah here yeah. i put the ic even on the on nice feet so you can replace them here the same story here same story with uh, with this one here this one this one this one so they probably think it will break so you can easily replace those or they have been uh, broken and the repair guy was smart and put them immediately on this uh, sockets so uh, yeah this this is always weird I never understood correctly because it was before my time but here is some sort of glass plate with wires I remember seeing that also in in TVs and I think it's some sort of capacitor but yeah maybe you guys can can tell me and leave it in the in the comments but it actually uh, looks very 
nice it being uh, more or less my age <laughs> it conserved a lot better <laughs> than me <laughs> so uh, but uh, it looks uh, very nice uh, let's open up the other one where's my scroll okay we put that here your screw goes here okay and uh, again the same they uh, one single screw in the back you can already see it comes out that's it although this one seems stainless steel and this one yeah maybe it is but it more looks like aluminum to be honest but uh, it doesn't matter so same it just slides out and okay here we go here and yeah this one is instead of built on this little i think it's phillips these usually are the, the the processors from phillips or the more complicated ic's with they look uh, with gold i haven't looked at any schematic diagram yet so i'm just telling you what i think and i could be completely wrong but <laughs> it doesn't matter <laughs> we have to look inside um yeah so and 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 these the newer ones are are built on a much uh, bigger processor and it also this one seems to drive also the the display and yeah i think i will open this because here i wanted to show you even though this is uh, a lot more modern it still has these complicated uh, switches and uh, yeah look at this so um, I want to open the, the, the bottom to, uh, to have a look I'm just looking a bit uh, closer and I'm a bit, bit surprised um, I thought oh uh, this is a, a crystal because uh, there is a little processor but it actually is a 50 hertz crystal look I hope it focuses well it, it, it says here 50 hertz and yeah I wonder why they don't use the mains or maybe this one was also built for the US I think they have 60 there or they just didn't want to bother to think about these things and that you say okay we put a crystal towards the light on 50 hertz yeah okay okay I removed uh, both the uh, covers from the bottom and this one just had uh, two screws you can unscrew and uh, well, the circuit board looks uh, still very nice and uh, here this had some sort of push pin that I needed to push on the top and then uh, it automatically released from the bottom well as you see that here are a lot of switches here in this one they use uh, a little bit less switches at least it look, looks that way no it's only, <laughs> only one button less but somehow it seemed uh, a lot less um, so I closed them up again um, now I like to compare if the values that they are they still good calibrated uh, or not and uh, yeah let's uh, let's see uh, I was by the way be able to improve uh, the damage that was done and when it was open I had uh, better access and what I did is just take a very sharp knife and I just start just taking out so if you see now it, it, yeah, it shows a lot less it's I would say it's almost gone but that is not the case you can still see it but it doesn't look that ugly as it was now it could just be a, a scratch so uh, I uh, will connect it to the power supply and let's see what uh, what happens I prepared already a little bit so put here uh, power um, 
DC 20, yes. Power DC 20. Okay. You can see one, two. Can you see this one? Does it? I think you can see the value. Hmm, it's a zero, yes. And here in the back, I think you can see uh, it's quite a big to display. So, um, yeah, let's put the analog power supply. Apparently, it's 109. And this one says 109. This one says 109. And here in the back, 109. I would say this is good. Um, let's go to 10 volts, more or less 10 volts. Let's put a little bit more speed on this one. It's easy read. Yeah, okay. 9.7, 9.7. I would say 9.7. No? Almost. So this is. Um, this is easy to adjust. I'm gonna look later in the service manual. I will put them also in the bottom of uh, both of them if I can find. And I even, that is maybe nice, I even found a brochure where this one is uh, promoted. And that was from around 75, if I'm correct. So that is very nice. And I will put also a link in the bottom uh, about that. So um, let's see, go to 17 volts. Ah, looks good to me. Okay, I put a little uh, setup. I have here a 10 ohm uh, resistor. I'm just putting on uh, a little like 5 volts or less. And the circuit goes like this. Into this meter, to this meter, out of this, through the resistor, through this other meter, and back to the power supply. So we have a closed uh, circuit. And uh, we are now measuring uh, 134.8 uh, milliamps. Um, this one also almost agrees. A little bit off, a little bit low, just like in the voltage. So I think it's just an easy adjustment. And it here also agrees 134. So uh, that looks nice. We can compare also if it measures the 10 ohms or not. And then I think we've done a proper test. Okay, measuring the same resistor we used, but now on the resistor setting. Um, it is 10.28, so that's more or less 10.3, I would say. So, uh, if we take that out, we get this to this old one. It also says 10.3, and this thing is almost 50 years, and it is still, still good. I'm really surprised about the quality of these uh, products. Um, yeah, like I mentioned before, in the military fluke kit, it had still those Nixie tubes, and still it was spot on after so many years. Uh, it is really a, a quality uh, product. And uh, I wonder why they still sell meters, because if everyone kept their old one, it is still good. No, it's in that sense, it's not necessarily <laughs> a really good business plan to make really 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 good stuff but uh, on the other hand i'm happy because people buy new ones and i have the old ones here so and this one says uh 10.2 so uh, i think uh, they are all aligned and uh, yeah surprised it's still good so uh, uh, yeah, th this is it. It was a quick uh, little tear down. I didn't uh, go too far, but at least you could have a peek in the inside. And uh, as promised, I will put the uh, documentation in the uh, links below. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time.